Hi Cancer, welcome to your November Love Connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support that uh, you give to the channel, new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. All that information is below. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support, helping in the channel's uh, growth, being a part of that, supporting it, letting me do this for you. I truly love to do this for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I couldn't do it without you guys. All right, Cancer, love connection for November. This can be any type of connection. Uh, whoever you have in mind right now it has to be an actual connection. So it could be, uh, Maybe somebody you're friends with, but you're kind of vibing on one another. It could be uh, someone you're dating. Um, even long-term commitment, marriage, separation, ex, whatever your situation is here. If the title resonated for you um, and you clicked on it, then there's probably something in here for you. So let's see what we have for Cancer. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. Already, can you believe the year is almost done and we're going into 2020? Holy crap! All right, Cancer. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get sign, element, or a planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. This is a little extra bonus. So, what do we have for and my jewelry is kind of making noise there? Sorry. So, what do we have for Cancer? For November. What may some Cancerians be dealing with for the month of November, Spirit, please? We have one card. Ooh, thank you so much. Oh, we got Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, and if not, totally fine, or maybe they have it in their chart somewhere. You could even have Leo in your chart, and if not, totally fine. So we have Leo. All right. I don't usually pull, pull more than one. I just like to pull one. All right, so let's get, for you, Cancer, an overall love connection energy for you and your person for the month of November or even after November, whenever you watch this, I do consider all the readings timeless. I just date them for sequential, I can't say the word, um, <laughs> sequential, you know, just so people know in the order in which I release them. <laughs> I can't speak. I saw a black cat run across out my window and just kind of startled me for a minute there. So well, maybe that's good luck. Maybe it's a sign of good luck for you, Cancer. They say black cats are good luck. All right. So let's see. What is the overall? I think I'm going to take that one because that really wanted to fly. Overall love connection energy between you and your person for November. Ah, let's see what it is. Helpless and hopeless. Oh, this is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Someone's feeling helpless, hopeless, or trapped uh, in their head, in their mind. Uh, eight of Swords is usually in a regular tarot deck. Uh, this is air energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. So the Eight of Swords in regular tarot usually show somebody um, tied up and bound or... Um, you know, they have the encircled in swords, which is a energy of confinement, mental entrapment, trapped in their, um, if I can talk, trapped in their head and their mind, can't get out of their own way, out of their own thoughts, and you're kind of feeling helpless and hopeless. So, but eights are all about action, taking some sort of action. So you can take action to get yourself out of this um, mental entrapment whether it's you or them, or just the state of the connection. All right. Okay, Cancer, what's going on? So let's get, oops, let's get one for you, one for your person. So I'm going to, okay, this just came out. Um, I'm going to put you here, your person here, but if you feel at any time the roles are reversed, switched, flipped, flopped, whatever you want to do, any time throughout this reading, if you say, well, that's me, that's them, you switch for flop energies anywhere throughout the reading. That's how tarot works. It's a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. And only take what resonates, throw away the rest. So 
this is going to be how you are feeling about your person and the connection or vice versa. And then one here for how, wow. Wow, Cancer, what's going on? Now we have wands coming out. So I'm just thinking, sorry. So, wow, what's <laughs> challenging times you have here for your energy about you and this person and the connection. So this is conflict, inner conflict, conflict around you, conflict with this person. And that's definitely the fire energy, Leo Sagittarius with the wands there. And they are wands too, which is Leo Sagittarius with the seven of wands, which is being defensive on guard, choosing your battles, uh, putting a, this person's like in a stance, like putting in a stance and not budging, like being stubborn and just very defensive and on guard. And you find them very challenging at this time. And maybe they find you very on guard and because um, this is how you feel about them, how they feel about you. So you feel they're very challenging right now, very conflicting. There's a lot of conflict. They're very challenging. They see you as somebody very on guard and defensive and keeping a stance and the whole situation is like helpless and hopeless right now. And just like a whole thing encased in mental entrapment. Wow. Boy, boy, cancer. All right. So keep in mind, I can pick up on past, present, future energy. So if you feel like this was a past relationship, that can also be it also. So on the bottom of the deck here, we have teach, which is the hierophant energy. So you could be actually married or in a long-term commitment with this person. And we have five again. So we have two fives here. And fives are usually about change. So I feel like something's going to change here if this is a long-term commitment or a marriage. Something needs to change in this dynamic. Maybe you need counseling, therapy, or something like that. I don't know. Or something here. Oh boy, Cancer, what is going on with you? So let's clarify with the tarot. Let's see what's going on. What is going on with you, Cancer? Is this like, are you separated from one another maybe and you're thinking about ending this? Uh, is it very, um, are you not getting along? Very argumentative, combative right now. And maybe, you know, you have been in this relationship for a very long time. So it's like, you know, do we end this? Do we, you know, keep fighting on? What do we do? Kind of feeling helpless and hopeless. All right, I'm going to have to shuffle. These are big cards. So why do we have challenging times here? Why do we have challenging times here? Why do we have challenging times here, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to do this. All right, let's clarify challenging times. Two of Wands. So this is at a crossroads, needing to make decisions and plans for the future. This is uh, fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So definitely they're in your energy here. So the two is about making uh, decisions and choices about this connection. Which way do you want to go? Which, you know, what is your vision? How are you thinking about this? You know, what are we going to do here? With the two of wands, how do we move this forward? How do we come out of this? Do we move forward solo? Do we move forward together? What what are we doing here? What's the vision of us moving forward? And then they have conflict. Wow, five of swords. So <laughs> conflict and uh, five of wands is also about conflict too. And the five of swords is usually, uh, it says conflict here, but I feel like um, Libra Gemini Aquarius doesn't have to be. I feel like also they're stuck in their head also. This is the Five of Swords. It's kind of like a very, um, it's, to me, it's a, even though it says conflict, it's an ego-driven card to me, like getting ahead at all costs. You don't care how you do it, how you get ahead, who you hurt, what you have to do to get there. You're just going to do it and you don't care what you have to do. That's kind of like the Five of Swords energy. It's a very selfish, egoish kind of energy. So I don't think they're seeing you in that light. Um, that you're very, um, being very challenging and like ego and selfish kind of energy, or you're seeing them that way. And, um, you know, you see them as someone as on guard and, um, 
taking a stance, being defensive, and maybe they're looking at you know the looking at another another option because the twos are about decisions, plans, decisions. You know, especially the two of wands. Which way, which way do I go here? So. I think you're watching them and you're saying, gee, you know, they're defensive, they're putting up a stance, and they're looking at their options, they're visioning something else here. So let's clarify, oh, let's clarify you, the nine of swords, well, it's in reverse. So this is usually about stress, worry, anxiety with the nine of swords. I feel like you're just kind of over it already. <laughs> it's like... You were once, like, stressed and nervous and anxious over this. Like, you know, what are they going to do here? You know, they, um, I think, are looking at another option. They're being defensive and on guard. And being, uh, you know, and you're like, you know what? Um, maybe it had you nervous and stressed, and now you're like, I'm over it. I'm no longer worried about this. It's like, I'm not stressed about it. I'm just, I'm done. I'm over it. So, hmm, wow. So many let's take this one for your person here we have the five of cups sadness lonely hurt um very hurt feeling here five of cups so yeah <sighs> a lot of sadness hurt sorrow loss on their side they're just feeling very sad like not happy not happy uh, i feel like wow I don't feel a very happy connection here. So let's let's uh, look at your actual situation. I did see the King of Wands just popped out, which is that Leo energy. What is the actual situation? Oh, three. Okay, let's see what we have here. Cancer. Four of Wands. So this is, you know, yeah, yeah, so you could definitely be married to this person. Four of Wands is usually... Um, Ceremony, celebrations, stability in the home, home life, people living together. So you either live with this person or you're married to this person. And then on their side, they have passion, queen of wands. So that's their energy. Leo Sagittarius, king or queen. So it definitely could be a fire sign. We do have Leo there. And you see, they're turning away. It's like they're turning away from this connection here. It's like... I want to go after my own. I'm tired of being sad and lonely and conflicted and feeling cold and just, wow. Let's see what's connecting the two of you. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. The five of pentacles abandonment. Yeah. So you both feel, I feel like you both are feeling neglected and lonely about each other. Like, like. You know, you've left each other. I feel a very cold energy between the two of you. It's like you're not even talking, you're not even communicating. You're just there with each other, but it's just like, yeah, I'm here, but that's it. You know, you're not stressed and worried about this anymore. It's like you're you're over it already. Or you feel like they are over it already. And unhappy energy here with the five of cups, like just sad, just sad. So I'm getting like this person like turning away from it already. Like they see something out else out there. Like they've taken one of these wands and they decided what their new path is already. Whether it's just moving on solo or moving on a whole new direction. Hmm. Okay, let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. Two of Cups. Hmm. One more to clarify the situation. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, it fell upside down. So, Two of Cups here. I mean, this could have been a soulmate connection at one time. Two people coming together. Love, soulmate, partnership, unity. So, yeah, this I feel was definitely love and emotions in a partnership, unity, soulmates. Felt like it was soulmate at one time. But now you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So if this is a marriage or a long-term commitment, this is like this is like the ending of it. Tens are an ending, especially in reverse here. It's like the ending of this union, this ending of this marriage, the ending of this long-term commitment. Wow. Wow. So I really feel like they're getting they're finding their passion elsewhere, whether it's just like I said, solo 
I'm not getting like third party uh, energy, so they might just might just want to go solo here. Wow. Yeah, because you see the two ones here, and they got one one. So I feel like they're ready just to fly, go solo on their own. <sighs> All right, so let's uh, get your advice in this situation, Cancer. Cancer, what is your advice in this situation, in this connection? For November, Spirit, what is the advice? The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So that's your energy. Wow, so you see, wow. So the Knight of Wands is fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. And the Queen of Cups is you, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And they're back to back here. It's like they're not even looking. You're not even looking at each other anymore. It's like, it's like I'm finding my passion elsewhere. And I'm finding my love elsewhere. It's like, wow. So your advice is, yeah, I mean, you're not even looking at each other. It's like two separate um, energies here. But the Knight of Wands goes after what they want. You know, taking that action and going after what they want. A lot of drive, passion, ambition. And the Queen of Cups, someone who's very loving, caring, nurturing, giving, uh, very spiritual, has a lot of intuition, has a lot of love to give, can be sensitive also. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify these two cards before I read into this more. We get one more to clarify this for cancer please spirit thank you so much one more there we go three of cups in reverse wow so yeah uh let's put those upside down oops so this talks of upright reunion in a reverse yeah it's like what's this now strength so Leo, there's a Leo energy here. Strength. Having strength, courage, determination. I feel to do what's best for you with the Knight of Cups. Taking action and doing best, best of what's you. Finding all your inner courage, strength, bravery to move ahead and move forward in doing what's best for you. Because I don't see this coming back together here with the Three of Cups in reverse. That talks about reunion, but... In reverse, there's no reunion here. It's just, I, I feel like it's done. It's over. It's just, I feel like you're married or just a long-term common law. You could have been married to this person uh, 10 to 15 years. I'm getting. All right, so let's see. Wow. <laughs> okay. What's your possible outcome? I'm going to take this one. Death. Wow. Oh my God. Scorpio. Death. So this is the ending of a situation here. So yeah, I feel like there may be a need just to end this already. I feel like it's been like over for a long time, maybe even the past five years. And you're kind of just like, just there, but in, like nobody's ending it. So the outcome is here. Something has to end here. Something has to end. So you can move forward. They can move forward. Uh, and transform and have a whole new beginning each independently. Um, that's what the death card is, is about endings and transformation. Doesn't mean someone's going to die. Doesn't mean to, you know, to go kill somebody. That's not what that means. It means ending, death is ending of something, person, place, thing, situation. Scorpio energy there. So... We got Leo there, and then for the majors, we have we got Leo there, we got Scorpio. We don't have a lot of and Leo again there. And then for the court cards, we have Leo Sag Aries, Leo Sag Aries, your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And over here we have uh Taurus with Teach. So let's get more clarity on wow, this outcome. Knight, uh, King of Swords. So this is in reverse, just fell in reverse. So usually the King of Swords is somebody, I mean, usually somebody who, you know, tells it like it is upright, um, 
cuts away things no longer serving, does it take any BS, has a lot of truth, clarity, open, honest communication in reverse. Can be somebody cold and cutting and manipulative. Um, not a good energy. So somebody's a not a good energy in a good energy because of how can I say this? Because of the energy of this connection right now, I feel like either you, them, the two of you are just very cold towards one another. Not a good energy. A lot of like fighting, bickering, uh, tearing each other down, insulting one another, just like a lot of negative energy with that King of Swords in reverse. Cold tongue towards, cunning slicing tongue towards one another, not good communication, but no one's cutting any energy out either with the King of Swords in reverse. It's like nobody's taking that action to cut out the situation, being kind of stuck, but it needs to end here with the death energy. And I feel like the two of you just need to go your separate ways with these two you're a queen and they're a knight. So they're not even a match to you. They're not even at your level. So they could be kind of like a selfish narcissist or something like that. Oh, I don't really like to say that, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, let's get one more for your possible outcome. Nine of Pentacles. Well, I got two two here that stuck together. So Nine of Pentacles is a single energy, yeah. So, And then the Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning, going off on a new adventure, endeavor here. So, yeah, getting your gratitude, you know, getting your stability back, getting your independence back, having a brand new beginning off on your own here with a lot of excitement, drive, ambition, and passion, on new endeavors, creative ideas, just having all new growth here all on your own and having um, that stability out on your own energy here. But somebody has to take action and just end this because the King of Swords in reverse. Nobody's taking action to cut this off, to end it, terminate it, and that needs to happen here with the death. So, yeah, the High Priest at the bottom here. Definitely here I feel like this is a marriage, long-term commitment. King of Swords here is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I don't know if that means anything, but Taurus again. So I definitely feel like, you know, in the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like this could have been a happy union at one time, happy marriage, happy commitment at one time. Eight of Wands here, travel, communication, moving. So some of you could be moving out on your own here, taking that fast, quick action, swiftness here, just off on your own. Again, yeah, movement. That's your energy, Cancer. Cancer, here you are. Taking movement, travel, finding your balance, your peace, your harmony, being adventurous and being determined for your own success and victory and moving forward with stability on your own. Yeah, Four of Swords. Over a period of no one taking action, the Four of Swords energy just kind of still stagnant, you know, thinking, contemplating, but no one taking action. The situation very imbalanced here with the Two of Pentacles, options and balanced energy, Page of Swords, so there could have been a lot of Back talking, gossip, negative energy between the two of you. So, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on here, but, um, you know, the hangman again, no one, Cancer Pisces, no one taking action. The moon, Cancer Pisces again, illusions, secrets, could be secrets between the two of you that you don't know about, things coming to light, following your, gotten your intuition. You know, cutting out the gossip, negative energy between the two of you. Maybe you're kind of spying on one another. I don't know. Well, but very imbalanced. No one taking action. Now taking action, moving forward, moving forward again. And this, like I said, Ten of Cups could have been a happy marriage commitment at one time. But I feel like now um, it's kind of over and done. Kind of over and done. All right, Cancer. I'm sorry for going through this, but... I see the best thing to do if um, nobody's taking action. Somebody needs to just end it already. End it already. All right. I just saw free yourself, Cancer. <laughs> and release your ex. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Release your ex. Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally so i don't know if somebody is controlling over the situation 
But someone, yeah, let go. Someone needs to let go here is what's coming out to me is let go. All right, so <clears throat> what else for cancer? What else for cancer? Not two here. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I, I don't know if there's somebody else you have your eye on. Sorry about the glare. But uh, whatever it is here, it's worth waiting for. Are they just telling you in the future, don't rush into anything? You know, wait. And whatever uh, is meant for you will come for you. And it will be worth waiting for. Wedding. Yeah. Did I not just say I felt like you were married or a long-term commitment? Yep. Definitely here. Yeah, separation. So you could be even separated from this person. I have felt that. Retreat. I definitely had that feeling of retreating from not together, but from one another. Definitely here. Energy of just being uh, stuck, stagnant. Nobody taking any action. All right, so let's see. Is there anything else for cancer? Uh, wow, wedding, separation, retreat. So, and I'm not, so you see this couple together, but I just feel like you're retreating from one another right now. You could even be separated from this person. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, I'm just feeling like, I think this was a happy marriage at one time, and I don't know what happened, but now it's not. It's just totally not. It's like, it's done. It's over. It's just time to end it. It's like it's run its course. It's it's like just, just done already. But I think in the future, you could have true love coming into you, something that is worth waiting for. And this could be the one underneath. And very soon, make the effort. So, I mean, true love can come for you in the future. Don't rush anything is what I'm getting. Uh, take your time. And... Uh, just let things happen. All right, Cancer. Um, sorry if you're going through this, but this is what I have for you, Cancer. Um, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month now, and they're all different. A love connection reading, a general tarot forecast reading for the month. I um, also added two new series. One is for singles, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what's the energy connection like. It's sort of a fun reading. And also a new one I've added is messages from your spirit guides. Uh, spirit message is what you need to know right now. So if you do like all that and you would like to see that, hit the bell. You'll be notified and you won't miss any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So good luck to you here, Cancer. Uh, do what's best for you. Wishing you the best. Sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.